Welcome to a new Team CGC 9.8 video. Today I have five 9.8 comics that are dropping in value. But uh, you know what though, I think most of these are looking like pretty great buys right now on the cooldown. Uh, so let's have a look here. First one, it's a Venom Lethal Protector number one in a 9.8. Yeah, this one was certainly pretty hot leading into that uh, Venom Let There Be Carnage movie. And I think in that movie he kind of mentions like he's a lethal protector quite a few times. So this one stayed pretty hot for quite a while there. But uh, now, definitely dropping in value. I, I, you know, myself, I didn't recommend this one leading into the Venom 2 movie. It's definitely like a secondary Venom key issue and not very tough in a 9.8. So it's certainly like prone to a cool down after the Venom movie. And really, I wasn't recommending kind of any Venom comic books leading into the movie. But uh, some recent prices on a Lethal Protector. Number one, in a 9.8 Direct Edition for a 133.50 and 147.50 seeing a couple auctions go for this one so you know leading into that movie this one was kind of 200 to 225 and i really thought it was so expensive at that time this is not a tough one in a 9.8 6693 9.8s in a blue label 57 percent the 9.8 ratio uh so you know, the newsstands, when they, you know, a year or two ago, when they used to be about 200 to 225, I thought that one was a pretty great deal. But when the directs were in that sort of range, I knew that, you know, this is just a hot comic book leading into that movie. Now, though, uh, right around 133.50, 147.50 in the direct edition, way better than kind of getting in there leading into the Venom movie. You know what, for this one, I'd really recommend that newsstand edition. This is a 1993 comic. You can kind of find the newsstand edition pretty easy in this one. And uh, if the newsstand's, you know, 200 to 225, I think it's absolutely worth that, you know, paying up 75 or $100 to get the newsstand edition in the 9.8 on this Lethal Protector number one. The first solo Venom comic book. So it is like, you know, pretty big key issue, heavily graded certainly, but uh, maybe not as tough in the 9.8. So, uh, and, you know, an early 90s comic, going to be heavily printed, Marvel comic book. So uh, I think the new stand edition is making a lot of sense on a Venom Lethal Protector number one right now, hopefully right around 200 bucks. And uh, yeah, those uh, other prices uh, were in the direct edition. Uh, next one here is a Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic number nine. First full appearance of Revan on this one with a great cover as well. This one's really collectible. Uh, absolutely cooling down though. This one, uh, when the first, you know, sort of the stimulus checks hit and the, I think like the Mandalorian had come out and Star Wars comic books were so hot. This one was over 2000 at one point. It then cooled down um, to, you know, under 1,500, let's call it. But uh, I think recently they've been around 1,000 I was seeing, you know, in the last kind of three to six months. So $884 though, I had saw one of these sell for in a 9.8 on it was a recent comic link auction. So this one's kind of still dropping in value. I think um, it's the uh, Knights of the Old Republic number 42, I believe it is, is the origin of Revan. And that has a more like, for me, like a more solid first appearance. I remember reading this one and just um, not even be, being able to like figure out where Revan is. Like it's not a very big appearance. And I think people are going after that 42 book. But, you know, this number nine one now that it's cooled down is uh, kind of making sense, I think. 199 9.8s in a blue label. 32% is the 9.8 ratio. It is a dark horse Star Wars comic book, so a one of 199 is pretty awesome if, you know, any any kind of Revan gets in some Star Wars content in the next five years. I think this 884 price right now is going to be looking pretty good. So if you're into this one, I think it's a buy right now around that 884 price. Um, but definitely one that's been uh, dropping in value over the last kind of, certainly since that peak of the hot comic book stimulus check market about a year and a half to two years ago. Here's one I noticed uh, a little bit of a, a cool down in price. Spectacular Spider-Man number one in a 9.8. Uh, definitely a, a great investment grade 9.8 though. This one's from the 1970s. I think these Spider-Man number ones are going to be, uh, you know, become pretty well collected over time. Saw one of these sell in a 9.8 for $574. It was on the Comic Link auctions recently. And, uh, you know, when the Tom Holland Spider-Man movie was out, this one was like seven to 800 I I'd saw a few sell for. And I mentioned it on a video, I'm pretty sure, of some ones that are rising in value. This one, like a month or so ago, where, um, you know, this was one, you could have bought it for like 250 to 300 two to three years ago. And then, uh, you know, $700, I was seeing a, a few sell around that Tom Holland movie. So 574 now, cooling down a little bit in the short term, but this is a great one. 
so I think uh, you know probably right around this cooldown price actually, like a five you know five hundred seventy four bucks, five seventy five. Let's call it pretty much a price target to aim for. I think this is one you can get in there if you want this one on the cooldown right now. There's six hundred forty two nine point eights in a blue label, and a ten point nine percent is the nine point eight ratio on that spectacular Spider Man number one. Okay, next one I do have. It's a Spider Man number three sixty two. So uh, certainly we've documented that 361 is kind of pulling back after the Let There Be Carnage movie. This being kind of a secondary Carnage issue is even pulling back even more. Yeah, seeing a couple in a direct edition. Uh, one had sold for $127.19 in an auction, $127.19. Leading into the Carnage movie, this one was right around $200. And for me, that you know, it was a, it was a, a hands-off at that point. Um, there's a lot of these out there. You knew it was going to cool down after the movie, essentially. It has now. I think this is actually one to think about that's really affordable now. $127.19 in a direct edition, I think, is a um, you know, price to aim for. These were about $200, a little bit over, I think, at one point. But you, you know what? For this one, similar to that Lethal Protector, I think the newsstand version really works well with this book. Um, I saw a newsstand in a 9.8 cell in an auction recently for $151.50. That's great, yeah. Leading into that Carnage movie, there were some newsstands that went for like $275, 300 and certainly at that time, I just felt that that was way too expensive. Uh, $151.50 on the newsstand, I think is absolutely one to target. So these covers, you know, 362, uh, super nostalgic for me just growing up as a kid. Really kind of, I, I feel like 361 was kind of hard to find being like a 10-year-old kid into Carnage. But 362, 363, I saw a lot when I was younger, and I do have the 363 as well in a 9.8 direct edition. They're kind of akin, like, you know, you might want a 363 as well. I think they're pretty much about the same price in a 9.8, maybe this one a little closer to 100 in the direct edition. But both of them make really good collector items in a newsstand edition. And I got the directs. I kind of, you know, looking back, I probably would have got the newsstand editions in these, and I've been tempted on the newsstand editions in these ones. I do have the newsstand in 361, so, but, uh, yeah, I think, you know what, on the cool down, these ones are making way, you know, way better to buy now than to, uh, you know, buy leading into the Let There Be Carnage movie and stuff. They've really cooled down, so, uh, if you're in the market for an amazing Spider-Man 362, uh, you could absolutely, uh, think about buying one right now. Uh, last one, a bit of a no-brainer, and I did see a Comic Link auction that kind of shows this one's dropping in price. Uh, an Amazing Spider-Man 252 in a 9.8. Yeah, I got uh, this one in a direct and a new stand edition. But uh, we'll, I'll bring up the graphic for this one today. Um, so, recent Comic Link auction. Saw one sell for $1,703. And uh, we've documented quite a few here. And I think it's a little bit that Tom Holland movie came out. You know, people loving their Spider-Man books during that time. Uh, this one, we saw one sell for $2,200 in a direct edition, all of them. And a 2000 so 2,200, 2,000, kind of in that range for quite a while around that Tom Holland movie. Uh, now seeing one go for $1,703. This one could just cool down maybe a little bit more. Uh, maybe it gets a little closer to 1,500. At that point, I feel like it's, an, it's a fantastic buy. And you know what? You might even want to just get in there around this price target of $1,703 if, uh, you know, the colors and the centering were looking really good. Uh, so the 252 on the census, 1,456 of them in a 9.8 in the blue label. 9.5% of all graded copies are 9.8. So the lower the better with the 9.8 percentages. And uh, yeah, only 9.5% of all the copies sent to CGC are 9.8s. A no-brainer on this one, yeah, you get the Amazing Fantasy 15 cover homage, which uh, just kind of gives you those... Uh, you know, first appearance of Spider-Man vibes and uh, first appearance of black costume on this one with a great cover. Uh, so I think that one is one that's dropping in value that you can think about buying right now. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Just a quick five. Noticed, uh, based on some of the recent prices, these ones are cooling down. But uh, yeah, I think uh, surprisingly, like pretty much all of them are pretty decent buys. I I'm uh, still on the fence about the Venom Lethal Protector. I just feel like there's a lot of them in a 9.8. Probably not one worth it to get the 9.8. But all the other ones, I'm thinking uh, you probably want to get in there on the cool down. Certainly if you're a fan of the books. So uh, definitely a couple to keep an eye on here as they're uh, dropping in value. Okay, team, thanks so much for watching, though. I'll see you on the next one. If you're liking my content, please subscribe and hit that bell, and I'll keep you updated on future videos.